Well, this is a quick recording of the quiz answers, and uh, I'm not going to be describing the answers and the solutions in detail, and I wanted to get that out. This is the first question. Where the rubber ball is dropped from a height, it hits the floor and rebounds. You're asked to calculate the impulse. Uh, impulse is basically the change in momentum. So what I'm trying to do first is to find the velocity with which the ball just hits the floor. So now that's why the arrow is pointing down. This is the velocity with which it reaches the floor. And then on the way back up, we know that the final velocity is going to be zero there when it reaches the top. We're looking for the initial velocity with which it begins its journey up. Using the same equation, you get minus 5.94 meter per second. And it's negative because it's going up. Now that's the initial momentum, mass times velocity, and then you have the final momentum. Of course, uh, it's a negative. Therefore, impulse, which is change in momentum, is the difference between the final takeaway, the initial, and since you're asked to find the magnitude of the impulse, you just have to have the number, the absolute value. The second one here, it's an elastic collision. Both the balls have the same mass, and uh, the final velocities are VA prime and VB or VB prime rather. That is the principle of conservation of momentum along the y-axis because you have the y components here. They must be equal to each other because the initial momentum along the y was zero. That's why I've set them equal to each other. And now that is the uh, principle of conservation of momentum along the x-axis right there. The x components are uh, cost components, so that's why you get that. Uh, I obviously made a mistake there, so instead of applying the conservation of momentum, let me apply the conservation of kinetic energy because I just noticed that it's an elastic collision. That way, it would be easier to solve it. And here, because it's an elastic collision, the angle must be 90 degrees between VA prime and VB prime, as you can see. 60 and 30. That's always true if it's an elastic collision between objects having the same mass, okay? So that's what I've used to get an equation connecting VB prime and VA prime. Now I'm using the conservation of momentum along the x-axis. which uh, get this relation, you know, I had this relation before, so using both the relations and substituting, we can solve for both VA prime and VB prime. Finally, VB prime is 1.5 meter per second. Once you get that, you can plug it into this relation and get VA prime if you want to. Now, number three, two objects, one one kilogram, the other is 1.4, and you got to find the center of mass from the one kilogram mass. 
Uh, obviously, I'm using the formula M1 times R1 plus M2 times R2 divided by M1 plus M2. Number four, the carts are moving towards each other. One moving to the right and the other moving to the left. The total momentum Uh, initially is given by this and you notice that this is negative because it's going to the left and you're asked to find the total momentum and it's to the right because it comes out to be positive so that's the total momentum to the right uh, here the baseball is hit back because it says in the direction of the pitcher, so it's hit back. An impulse is change in momentum. Here, of course, I've taken the initial direction as negative, uh, as positive, and the final is negative. That's why you see a minus there, and that's an important point that you got to remember. Therefore, the total impulse is nine point eight zero. Newton second. The objects are moving in the xy plane. You have to find the total momentum of the system, which is the vector sum of the two. Okay, so we've got to find the vector sum of these two, and I've resolved both into x and y, as you can see here, x and y. And uh, those are the values for the x and y components. And then first you add the x components after you get each one of them. So that is uh, the total x and that is the total y. And then, of course, you have to use the Pythagorean theorem to find the total momentum and you get tan theta which gives you the direction as the y component divided by the x okay that's 46 degrees and seventh one simple just a question related to momentum No explanations required. Three centimeters per second. Here you have two masses held at rest against a compressed spring. And uh, the masses are released. The velocity of one of them is given. Find the velocity of the other. The initial total momentum is zero because they were both at rest. And so that should be equal to the total final momentum and you get minus 1.33 meter per second, which means it's going to the west. Here you have to find the location of the center of mass of the system. The masses and locations of the two particles are given. So use the formula. Distribute the terms and collect the I and the J's. Keep them separate. And that's what you get finally. Uh, now remember that this question is an elastic collision, perfectly elastic. That's why we could use the special formula. And the negative is because that object is moving in the opposite direction initially. 
So you get one equation out of that and then use the conservation of momentum to get the second equation. And once you have the two equations, it's just a matter of solving bo both of them. Those are the two equations, and now we got to solve them. And you get VA prime, and once you get VA prime, you could, if you want to, find the other one. Now this question is uh, same as question number six, so I'm not going to work it out. It's exactly the same method. Here two ice skaters are pushing off against one another from a stationary position, so the initial momentum is zero and apply the conservation of momentum and you get uh, minus 0.281 meter per second we got to find the speed of the center of mass and use the formula Be careful with the numbers. Uh, be careful that you do not switch them. One point two nine meter per second. Here the force applied, the mass of the ball is given, time of contact is also given. And all I've done is use the two equations for impulse, put them together and uh, find the final velocity. Those are the two equations for impulse. One is the product of force and time, the other is change in momentum. Brings us to the last question. Here you're asked to find the kinetic energy that was lost during the collision. Now that's the conservation of momentum being applied using which we can find the velocity of the second object after collision. Get a 6.67 meter per second and now Find the initial kinetic energy, find the final kinetic energy, and find the difference between the two, and that's all. The initial is 550 joules. Uh, the final 91.75 joules, therefore the loss of kinetic energy is the difference, which uh, comes out to be 40, uh, I'm sorry, 458 joules. And I hope this has been useful and I've tried to keep it as short as possible and make it useful for you. Make sure you study this for the exam. Thank you. Good luck.